number 8 reads, a cylindrical pot with a diameter of 10 inches has water to a depth of 1 inch. When a smaller cylindrical pot of height 10 inches is placed inside with the bottom flush to the bottom of the larger pot, the water level rises 2 inches to a new height of 3 inches. What is the smaller pot's diameter? So first, I'm going to draw the larger pot. which since it has a diameter of 10 you know its radius is 5 inches and it has a height it has water in it to a height of 1 inch so you can find the volume of that water by doing V equals pi r squared h and the volume would be equal to pi the radius which is 5 squared times by the height of the water which is 1 inch so the volume of that water is equal to 25 pi then I'm going to draw the smaller pot put into the larger one We have the larger pot with water of one inch, but now we're going to put a smaller pot in here. That goes flush to the bottom and it raises the water level up. to three inches. So we can now find the volume of this water using the same formula and you get pi times the radius which is still five from the larger pot squared times by the new height of the water which is three and the volume of that water turns out to be 75 pi. So, if you take the volume of the smaller pot, or of the larger pot, and set it equal to the volume of both, minus the volume of an unknown radius of the pot that was submer uh, put into the larger pot with height 3, we'll be able to determine the radius. If you just add that over to the other side and subtract 25 pi, you get 50 pi is equal to pi r squared 3 then you can divide by pi and divide by 3 and you get r squared is equal to 50 over 3 which means that the radius is equal to the square root of 50 over 3 or the diameter, which is twice the radius, would be equal to 2 times by the square root of 50 over 3.